Public art is big. It takes a lot of work, a lot of people involved. It's building a process in which a community can get behind a vision and then move forward with a vision to its completion. So I've been coming over the course of the last two years talking to different members of the community. So we selected six students of different nationalities, identities, sexualities, genders, abilities, just different walks of life that we felt were representative of the student body. Coming into college, I came with this intention that I wanted to get involved and I wanted to do something that left a lasting impression on this campus. I didn't expect to be recommended for a mural. <laughs> For me to be here for a few years and be coming through the stairwell and go to a study room or, or find a book and then suddenly I know that I'm here and I've left a mark, I think that's incredible. The six students that we chose absolutely represent the incredible diversity of this campus. And it's not just about the diversity of this campus, it's about showing students how amazing they are by showing them six of their peers who are equally amazing as they are. Anyone who walks by that wall can look up and be like, wow, like these are my people, this is who I am. It's not about the students as individuals, it's about what they represent. It's about who they are and who they represent by virtue of being there. Now you're taking six different unique individuals and stories and putting them all together to make this diverse and inclusive story that would be painted up on the Kellogg Library wall. Just being included with, you know, whether it be my black identity or my queer identity or things like that, like I, it's just amazing that I get to represent that. So when I envisioned this mural, even before picking the subjects, I wanted them to um, evoke like a fearlessness. I wanted them to stand there very stoic and very serious about being a united front, regardless of their identities, and standing behind the message, you know? In this classroom, there are no walls means a lot of things to me. We live at a moment in which human rights are being challenged. And the idea of a classroom without walls implies to me a sense of creativity and not being boundary, not being kind of constrained by a traditional, typical way of, of building knowledge or learning things. In their interviews, I really wanted to ensure kind of that they got, kind of that they get it, you know, that they get the grandness of the statement that they're making and that their identities and their lives needed to be celebrated. What I see when people see it for the first time is really amazing. Students kind of stop and it, they made them stop in a place that was otherwise a passageway to somewhere else. And that's, that's what we want, that's what we're going for. You know, we, we want something that you can't ignore in this building, something that's just absolutely spectacular, and that's what we got. And I think the point of all this is to stop and to think about someone's experience other than yourself. You know, so I think if I've achieved that in any way, then it's a success.